Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey there, and I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And here we are at Cavalcade of Food, back at the cottage. Yay! Another season uh, has turned, and uh, it is springtime in Michigan, and we are gradually transitioning back to cottage mode. So glad to be here. Uh, it really always marks a real great passage, doesn't it, when we come yeah, uh, back up to the cottage. Cottage season is one of our favorites. It sure is. So, um, you got a red and white uh, pot to match your red and white kitchen. Yeah, I do, because we're going to make some soup. And uh, as we came into Port Huron yesterday, there is a great uh, place to eat there, the Palms Crystal Bar, otherwise known as... Chicken, chicken in, in the, the rough. rough. Chicken in the rough. Uh, it's a chicken place, um, although they have a ton of great things there. Other things uh, on the menu, but yeah. it's just a real throwback. And uh, they, yeah. at one time they were a franchise. There were many of them all throughout uh, the throughout Midwest. The whole country. Or the country um, yeah. I don't know how many chicken in the roughs there are anymore, but there's one in Port Huron, and we like to go there. And one of the things on the menu that we especially love is their homemade cream of mushroom soup so that inspired today we're gonna make some cream of mushroom soup and food you know we use cream of mushroom soup uh like the stuff out of the can uh, as we call it polish gravy or step saver step saver and we use it when we make city chicken we've used it in our polish spaghetti and a couple other casseroles um however this is going to be soup to eat and enjoy we're gonna have soup and Hearty some wonderful soup. bread looks like you got a lot of mushrooms going on so too. I do have I have two pounds of mushrooms and what I've got is I've got the regular white button mushrooms as they're often called and then I've got these great little mini portobello mushrooms but you can see mushrooms are dirty see that they have a little well they grow in the dirt earthy. so they're earthy. yeah they're earthy and um so do you wash them or what? I, you never want to wash mushrooms like put them in water um or you know run them under water because they'll absorb oh. what you want to do is take a damp cloth or in this case a paper towel and just give them a quick wipe like this okay now also because we're making soup Sometimes people throw the stems out and they just want the caps. I'll eat the stems. Well, the stems actually have great, great mushroom flavor. Yeah. Now, sometimes the end of the stem like this is a little dried out. You can cut that end off. But you want to keep that stem because we're, there's going to be a lot of good mushroom flavor in there. And one of the okay? things we liked about the mushroom soup at the Chicken in the Rough restaurant bar yesterday was how thick and um hearty hearty and just kind of uh, a lot of textural things going on and a lot of flavor so i think one of your ideas was to make sure that the stock is thick that you have uh you know, yeah some substance well, it's to a, it plus it's a cream soup right but i mean the mushrooms you're you're i imagine you're going to be cutting them in a rather you know thick way yes we're gonna keeping, i'm gonna i'm gonna just them. sort of chunk up these mushrooms chunk i'm not going to i'm not going to cut them particularly thin i am trimming them a little bit where there's a couple of okay. parts of the so the first button. step is the prep and the cleaning yeah of the so yeah. so you get your mushrooms wiped off get get the, the the dirt off of them and then uh what we'll do is we'll get them i'll come back we'll chop them up and we're going to cook the mushrooms and onion first and then uh we're going to take our mushroom and onions and puree them that will create our flavor base for our soup, and then we'll come on back. Okay. We like to play music that we've just recently acquired, and I didn't know what was appropriate for it's mushroom like, what soup. what am I going to play for mushrooms? <laughs> and we found this record. It's called There's Nothing Like an Old Hippie. It's Homer and Jethro. <laughs> and I thought, you know, hippies like mushrooms, and there's uh, Homer. Those are different kind or, of mushrooms. Oh, well, there's Homer or Jethro smoking a banana on the cover, and I thought... But anyway, we hope it works out as good background music, and if yeah. not, we've got Roy Orbison on deck. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here, Ralph. Yeah, they sure look easy to cut. They are, well, they are, because they're soft. And I'm just sort of chunking them up, okay? And, and we nice know, big chunks. We know mushrooms aren't everyone's favorite thing. Some right. people like them, some people don't. I 
happen to love them and I'll eat them raw and I love them sauteed or whatever but um, I took a taste of one of these raw and boy it's just so nutty and buttery and if you are afraid of mushrooms for whatever reason try them again maybe maybe you'll give, give them another chance and yeah. find out how much you really like them you know I think some people you know I think what really bothers people about mushrooms or what they've told me the is the texture. They're, they're spongy, mm -hmm. but you know what? When they're cooked and they're sautéed, um, and they really do absorb. I mean, they have a wonderful flavor of their own, and then they absorb, you know, the butter and they absorb the, the onions. flavors, the That's, onions. And they go so well with meats because they, you know, like they're great on a steak and that sort of thing because they really just do the right kind of absorption of flavors. So what you want to do is just like I said, I'm going to finish rough chopping these. And then we'll come back and we'll get them, get them in our pan here, uh, with some onion and oh, and some thyme. Um, we're going to use fresh thyme because, believe it or not, we had a very mild winter here in Michigan, which was nice. Not a ton of snow, not very cold. But so many of my herbs, which normally don't survive the winter freeze, survived. So we've got fresh thyme still from our uh, herb garden. Always outside. better to use fresh herbs when you can. And yeah, if you can. If not, dried thyme would be okay, just fine. Okay, well, yeah. I'm just almost done melting a half a stick of butter here. Okay, that's four tablespoons. I'm going to put in maybe a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, okay, with the butter. Okay. I like to mix the two. It keeps the butter from getting kind of uh, too, brown or, too brown or burning because the olive oil has a higher uh, burn point. Yeah, smoke point. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to put in an onion. I got half of an onion here. This is just kind of a medium onion. I got half there and I got half here. Couldn't all get it in that bowl. Uh, and we're going to saute quickly just to sweat. Um, the onions okay so this is like a medium heat yeah I've got it over kind of medium high heat here um, we're gonna add let's add a little salt and pepper to our onions okay a little salt add some nice pepper here because what we want to do is we want to get the onions and the mushrooms just tender okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start by cooking them in the butter. All right, I'm going to now add the mushrooms. You ready? I'm Take ready. a look at all that. You know, beautiful. Yeah. And mushrooms have a lot of M moisture. Moisture, butter. a lot. All vegetables do, of course. So we're going to get these cooked down. Let's stir, stir around. Because I want to get that butter in there. And again, I just want them to look, the butter's already absorbed. Look, there's none there's none there. Wow. It's already kind of gotten. It's like cooking with sponges. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of keep mixing it all, get make sure that the um, onions and the butter are mixing with the mushrooms and Yeah, I want the sweating. onions and the, the mushrooms to sort of mix together here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add about four cups of chicken broth, okay? So that's our base. If you wanted to keep this a completely vegetarian soup, uh, you could use vegetable broth, okay? Couldn't do a vegan soup, really, uh, because we're going to have to add cream half and half. Um, but you could certainly keep this vegetarian. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. And all we want to do, Ralph, is we want this to get the uh, onions and the mushrooms tender. So these are going to cook. So this liquid acts as a sort of a tenderizer. Yeah, and I mean, they've got to cook in something. They can't right. cook dry. So we're going to have them cook for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and now let's put in some of our wonderful fresh thyme. I'm going to put in a couple of sprigs. We don't want the stems, we just want to pull back on the leaves 
right we top, start at the top and we kind of pull the leaves backwards and they just kind of kind of come right off okay so we're gonna bring this up to a boil and then we're gonna turn it down and we're gonna let these mushrooms and onions cook until they're nice and tender because then this is basically making our mushroom base, our mushroom flavor. Looks like you're putting a voodoo hex on it. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna we're gonna take these mushrooms and onions and chicken broth, and we're gonna puree it in the blender. Ah, uh, okay. That's how it gets, makes it um, creamy and 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 then and then we're gonna bring it back with the cream and some other ingredients. All right. But it's still gonna be a chunky soup, right? Yes, because I'm gonna reserve some of these oh. to to fold in yes okay gotcha. okay but right. we we can't do it with all of this okay. we got to get our flavor from so is somewhere this, is this chicken broth acting as the liquid that it boils and is it going to like really reduce these uh mushrooms and flatten them out and squash yes, it out? The, the mushrooms will as this thing comes up to heat the mushrooms will contract okay and it, it'll all come together you'll okay, see ralph so it's been 15 minutes been simmering away check it out oh yeah See? Oh yeah. Look how dark the broth. Okay. Oh, the and the smell. The aroma. Are you getting that? Okay. Mm -hmm. that the really kitchen smells very mushroomy, very uh, deep, deep aromas of the onions and butter, the mushrooms. Which is exactly what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take move this over here. So off. if it wasn't a cream of mushroom soup, would this be where you would just kind of leave it? Uh you could um, I still think, you know, I mean, you, you wouldn't, this is too, you wouldn't eat this as a soup, but you could still puree mm -hmm. and then come back and you could add more broth, okay, if you wanted to make it a cream, if you didn't want to make it a cream soup. Yeah, we have to do our friend Mike's uh, very Polish dark uh, mushroom soup, but sometimes it's not a cream soup. Right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to just put this i'm going to do this in a couple of stages okay and we're going to puree this all right so you're transferring the hot to here in, now whenever you are putting something hot in the blender you always have to stand back you and you should <laughs> not only just stand back to get out a towel okay be safe and we're going to put this Kind of over the top a little bit because it okay? tends to explode well it can because <laughs> you have the heat right that looks like a good blender though so yeah but any blender it's just it's it's the it's the uh, act of of, of doing something that is hot see some of it even came out yeah i was seeing steam come through the top yeah, look at that. Okay? Oh, wow. But, so, look at, there's the puree. So you don't have to let it cool down? Beautiful? No. I mean, you could, but, you know, we're not, wow. no, you don't have to. All right, so now we're going to do another batch. Okay, and then all you right. said you are going to leave some to keep it chunky and yes. thick and all that. Actually, I'm glad you reminded me, because you know what? I'm going to take, I, I got a slotted spoon here. So let's take some of our mushrooms and onions, and we're going to leave that whole. Okay? Good. And what we'll do is we'll... We'll add fold that this afterwards. back in to the soup. That should be enough right there. Okay, so we'll add that, that back into the soup. The rest, I'll continue to make our our puree, our flavor puree here. Yum, yum. Okay, so I've just put five tablespoons of butter in. There's our puree. Yeah, I just want to get a shot of that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Matter of fact, I'll bring it on over here. Okay, so I've got five tablespoons of butter that we're going to melt. Um, and once it's melted, I'm going to add five tablespoons of flour. Now, we've done this many times, Ralph, and you know what we're making, right? A roux. A roux. Exactly right. We're making a roux. And, uh, Tell people what that is. Well, it's a fat and starch combination that adds a, a, uh, acts as a thickening agent. So for sauces and soups and gravies and things like that. So our fat is the, uh, the butter and our starch is the flour. That's my media profile, starch and fat combination. <laughs> 
So as soon as this is melted here, we'll get our flour uh, added in. And so it's of course we're using the same pot that we mm -hmm. right that we had our no reason to get anything else no dirty. No reason. All right, I'm going to add our flour in here. And it's important that you kind of you want to cook the flour yes, essentially. Yes, that okay? I learned from you. You never want the taste of raw raw flour. flour. That so raw flour does not taste so good. Keep stirring till you make sure that it's all getting saturated mm -hmm. and cooked. And that sometimes you hear people talk about a dark roux. Well, this is what we're making here. Here's your roux right here. You see, it's kind of a a really light blonde Bloody. color. The longer it cooks, the darker it gets because the butter and the flour will brown. You can from just the imagine. Heat. Imagine how all these wonderful flavors complement each other. The nuttiness of the mushrooms and the butteriness mm -hmm. of the onions and the uh, puree and the roux and the flour and everything. It just kind of adds to this wonderful mixture that creates this cream of mushroom soup. Yep. So, okay. So now we've got our, our roux kind of pretty much there. Uh, you don't want it to get too dark. I'm going to put a little salt in here and I'm going to put in a little pepper. Always brings out the flavor when you add a little salt and heightens it. Okay. Now we are going to gradually add in our all that puree. puree. So you need some big pots and some big bowls for this operation. You sure do. Maybe even a spatula. So, oh, that, that, the mushroom. Mm, yeah, I'm smelling it. It almost smells like, it's, maybe it's the butter, but it smells meaty, even though it's a non-meat soup. But look how dark it is. Yeah. Look how dark it is. Well, this and is before the cream or the sherry or and, anything. Right, and so we're going to we're gonna kind of stir this in. Now I've got a cup and a half of half and half here. You could use, I'm going to take this down to a medium heat. Um, you could use uh, heavy cream here if you wanted to, okay? I think that's a little too rich. So you're using a half and I'm half? I'm using half and half. You could use whole milk. Uh, you could use, um, okay, but you see it will lighten the color. Uh, yes. See that? Okay. And as it comes up to a boil, it will thicken even more so. We're going to now add in this. The whole mushrooms we saved. Yep, the whole the mushrooms. Before, the ones we didn't puree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones that didn't go in the blender. And I'm going to put in just a little couple. Wait, oh, oh, no. Show folks what that was. <laughs> um, that is a whole nutmeg. Cherry bomb? Oh, a nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> so, a whole nutmeg, uh -oh. and what I wanted to do, uh, before it slipped out of my little fingers. So you were shaving that with that... Just uh, putting a little... With that wood go fire. Back to it, yeah. Okay, with okay. my microplane. Just a little bit of nutmeg. Yeah, because a little goes a long way, but it, yep. but it does... Um, yeah, we're speaking about these nutty flavors. And yeah, it adds, it adds a certain depth of flavor, mm -hmm. okay? And if you put just the right amount, it won't be... Because sometimes people associate nutmeg with sweet baking and things, but it'll be just the right amount to um, to bring out these these nutty, meaty, buttery flavors. Yep. Now, once this kind of comes up to heat, we have one more ingredient to put in, which is optional. I'm going to put in oh, maybe a tablespoon or two. Uh, I have to taste uh, of cooking sherry of sherry. Okay. Uh, and then. That will be the last. You could omit that if you don't care for the taste of sherry. I think it really deepens the soups, like when you use it, it as a French onion. Bubbling. Now bubbling we've good. We've kind of been stirring this. It's come up to. I'm going to take it down, but now see how look yes. how, look how beautiful it's thickened. You can see how thick it's getting mm -hmm. from the heat. So now that it's here at this stage, I'm going to add. I got a tablespoon of sherry here. Some for you, some for the pot. <laughs> um, let's stir that in. So you want to really kind of put that in at the end. So this is cooking sherry, but you could use, like, if you had the drinking kind that oh, people yeah, have. Oh, yeah, even better. Because I think when um, you made onion soup, French onion soup, I think you used the other kind, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think it, well, uh, maybe. 
I just seem okay. to remember a bottle that was darker. All right, we're going to turn this down now just to a simmer because we've got it where we want it. So, but you know, with everything, including soup, you want to taste for your seasoning. What do you think? Mm. Is it getting there? Yeah. Now, the sherry you add at the very end, because you don't need to cook it into it. You just need it to kind of flavor it at the end. add a flavor. Okay, so right. how much did you add? I added a tablespoon. I actually might put in just a little bit more. Just Maybe taste. another half a tablespoon. And I'm going to also put in a little bit, a couple turns of pepper. Because I like pepper. All right. So, there we go. Beautiful. And again, you want to taste it? Uh, I thought it was salty enough. Of course, you know, the chicken broth, even though right. I do use a reduced sodium, oh, yeah. is fairly salty. And we did season as we went along, adding salt and pepper. So, But because oh, it's that's reduced, good. it might need more. Oh, that is good. So... Mm. So there's our soup. Look at that beautiful color. Um, Enough to feed a an army. And Ralph, you'll be happy because you know we reserved some of those oh, whole see. pieces of mushroom. I see some of those getting in there. Yep, good, good. So we're gonna put it like this. We got some bread we just took out of the oven. I had some fresh thyme still. So how about? Some people say there's never enough time. <laughs> we don't charge extra for the jokes, folks. Okay? <laughs> Here it is. Homemade cream of mushroom soup. Um, with some nice bread and butter. A meal in itself. And if you think you don't like mushrooms, try this. You may... It and may surprise you. Yeah, you may have a new opinion on mushroom soup. So you know what? We had a great time making our soup. I'll take the ladle out. And you know what? We hope you had a good time being with us. Welcome cottage season once again, and we'll see you next time here at the cottage. And don't forget, the star of this show was the Calvinator. That's right. And for those of you who will ask, in the next week or two, we'll do our annual stove switch out. I picked up a, a yep. new stove to put in and install this year. Oh, joy. So, I can hardly wait. Yeah, so... <laughs> Do your exercise. I will. Well. I'll get We're both up. We'll be a stove in a couple I'll of weeks. eat some soup and uh, some nice <laughs> bread, get some carved up weight. But anyway, yes, this was a great, uh, yeah. fun episode. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you see next time. See you next time. time on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye, y'all.